Well, Blake, just wanted to ask you, first game, I guess, full-time at defensive tackle, how did you feel your performance went over? Um, I thought I had an awesome performance. It was, I don't know, it was different being inside. Everything happens a little quicker, dealing with bigger guys, but I think overall I had an awesome game. Size-wise, what are you up to now? Um, I'm sitting at around 280, but I'm hoping to push over 285-ish. Yeah. Is it just status quo with Jay Hill back today, or has anything changed at all? Um, no, it's uh, that's an awesome, awesome thing about Jay. He wanted everything to kind of stay going as per usual. He didn't want to make it about him. And yeah, it's just been a normal, normal Tuesday practice. With regards to just the defense philosophy overall, how has it changed this year versus maybe previous seasons? Um, I think the philosophy's been pretty about the same this year. Um, you know, physical, mean, tough. Uh, and I think Jay Hill has really um, has helped us come a long ways with that. And yeah, very similar to last year, I feel like. What do you like most working with a guy like John Nelson? Uh, he's just an awesome dude. I love John. Uh, we actually came in gray shirted together. So these last five years I've been around John. Um, awesome dude, freaking hard worker, just a great guy. Now, SMU likes to run a lot of, a lot of RPO action. What do you expect from them? What do you see on the field? Yeah, a lot of RPO, um, quick game. So we're um, really trying to figure out how we can, uh, you know, knock that off from them. A lot of hands up. Um, yeah, just trying to trying to knock balls down for the D tackles. What was emphasized from the coaching staff after a quarterback that's so loose have had that many you know yards rushing the ball getting outside the pocket? Sorry, come again. What was the message to you guys after a quarterback was able to get so many rushing yards like DJ Williams the past weekend? Um, I think the I think the biggest thing is um, you know trying trying to stay frontal with him. Um, I mean he he was a athlete. He was a very good player. But I think what came apparent is we need to we need to be more aware of it and be you know the, especially interior guys just be smart about it. They were gashing us with it, so we need to stay more frontal. As a defensive guy going against Jake, when you see him ranked as the last quarterback, you know, in the conference by Pro Football Focus, you know, how does that feel you, you know, as a defensive guy to show that BYU has something to prove? Yeah, I mean, so that underdog mentality. Um, but I've got all full confidence in Jake. I mean, you saw it at the game. He did He did a fantastic job, and he's going to continue sh uh, to show out. Is this team trying to be, were you guys trying to be more aggressive on the defensive line last week, or did it just kind of happen with seven back um, I, th I think it just kind of happened. Um, that's, that's one of the biggest things that the coaches emphasized coming into last week was we just got out physical, um, which I, th I think we did. Um, and being able to out physical a team like that leads to big plays. How big was that when Isaiah Bang comes out second series and gets a sack for you guys? Oh, it was awesome. It was, I mean, the crowd went crazy, team went crazy. I mean, that just lit the fire, and we just kept it rolling. Happy for him. Good. Good. Thanks, Black Guys. Appreciate Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thank you.